Okay, this is the Record Doctor vacuum operated record cleaning machine. It's manual, which means you turn the record by hand, but it only costs $199, which is a pretty good deal. So it consists of the box that contains the vacuum, the velvet lifts, which are changeable. There's a roller bearing here that helps you to turn the record. And you have this grippy surface right here that goes on top of that spindle. And using it's very simple. It also comes with um, its own cleaning fluid and a brush that has two different kinds of applicators. One is a foam kind of applicator and one is a, a bristle brush. Now, I don't know the fluid. It doesn't say what's in it and it doesn't... Uh, so I don't, I'm not, I don't know it. Okay, I like to use... Uh, for everyday use, I don't mean under my arms, I mean for records. Premium One Step Formula Number Six from Audio Intelligent, that's a good one. Uh, there's good ones from Mobile Fidelity, there's good ones from Nitty Gritty, there's a bunch of good fluids. I don't want to get involved in the fluid game, but I'm going to use this Audio Intelligent uh, Premium One Step Formula Number Six. So, let's clean a record. I'm going to clean uh, Dream River by Bill Callahan, who I like, which I'll get to review this some point soon. And to use this machine, first you put the record on top of the spindle. And you apply some fluid. And I'm also going to use, uh, I have these two brushes here. They're very similar, as you note. This is the Disc Doctor's microfiber brush. And this is uh, from Mobile Fidelity. It's basically a similar kind of thing. I don't want to get into the politics of that, so I won't. Uh, you put some fluid here, being very careful not to get the fluid on the other side of the record at this point and you carefully spread it around making sure it doesn't get on the label or on the other side of the record but make sure you get the whole record covered okay and then you turn the record over find that spindle hole and you put this disc turner on there and you turn it on and then you spin it slowly. They say about four turns is sufficient to clean the record. And this is fairly noisy. I, I measured um, 90 plus decibels, which is fairly loud. So you might want to wear earplugs when you do this, especially if you're going to be listening to music right after you clean the record. Let's see how it looks. Not quite dry yet. Obviously, it's easier with a machine that turns by itself, but for $200, uh, you know what? This is about half the price of the, the next least expensive cleaning machine. The instructions say you can clean up to 100 records a day, but that when the machine gets kind of warm to the touch, you should let it cool down before you continue using it. All right, that looks great. That looks great. So now I'm going to clean the side that hasn't been cleaned the same way. Just because. Yes, you should do both sides, obviously. So it takes a few minutes to, uh, to do this. It doesn't do both sides at the same time. It doesn't even turn it. But you know what? It's not that difficult to turn the record by hand. And, and any vacuum machine is going to be more efficacious than a machine that doesn't vacuum the record dry. It's just a fact of life. Okay. And you'll see there's a little bit of fluid right on the edge. That can happen with any machine, actually. And so you should be prepared with a microfiber cloth to get rid of that little bit of liquid. And this side is nice and dry. And there you have it. So for $200, the, the Record Doctor cleaning machine works well. 
it's inexpensive it'll clean up to 100 records a day although you're not likely to sit there and do that every day so really it should clean as many records as you need to have cleaned in a day and uh, I like it so it's highly recommended